Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the week of December 12th through the 18th, 2021. I hope you guys have had a good week. Um, I do want to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, and if you find that that is your situation, I encourage you to check the other signs and placements and see if those readings may resonate just a little better. Um, also keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That is not at all unusual. Um, if you would like a personal private reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, Aries. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aries, please? Aries. Okay, so Aries, we start out with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Three of Cups in the upright and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so Queen of Wands in the reverse, this is strong fire energy. It is in the reverse, so there might be something here you're feeling a little bit disgruntled about, a little unhappy, um, or just, you know, more lower vibrational. Um, it's it's kind of take whatever this is is kind of taking you out of your power you're not feeling your most absolute confident or your most absolute best here it has to do with an offer of love that was either not received or you have declined or not you're not giving um, I do see though with the three of cups here um, there could be um, you could be going out with friends you could be um, this is a card of, of you know celebration so you may be going out maybe going out with friends and or it could be dating um, but there is a an offer of love here that you're either not getting or you're not offering and with the Queen of Wands there's an action that's not being taken here so let's see who you're connecting with Who is Aries connecting with? Who is Aries connecting with? Hmm. One moment. Okay, so we have the Magician in reverse. Gemini energy. We have the Nine of Rods. And coming out together, we have the Seven of Cups reversed along with Justice in reverse. Okay. Wow. All right. Yeah, so the person you're connecting with here, Aries, um, I feel like something didn't manifest here. It has to do with this offer of love. Um, but it didn't manifest because there is... The person you're connecting with feels like they have been treated wrong. Um, either they feel that they've been wronged or they, they realize that they've wronged you. But this is why this is not manifesting here. There's a sense here that there's a lot of problems um, associated with whatever this is. And this person would like to overcome the problems. They haven't given up on this. They haven't given up at all. But they're pretty clear about an injustice here that has happened. So, and they're, they're also feeling like things are just not happening. Things are not coming to fruition. Now, they may be feeling a sense of inadequacy here that they don't have everything they need to make this happen. So, I feel almost like, Aries, you're the one who's holding back here. You're the one not taking action. You're the one holding back. Um, we'll clarify it. Let's see what the energy of this connection is. Ooh, okay. Well, we have the Seven of Swords. So there may be some deception that has happened here. Um, or it could simply be that there's avoidance that's taking place. Sometimes the Seven of Swords is avoidance. But either there's deception here or there's avoidance. Um, what is uh, directly affecting this connection? King of Wands in the reverse, and the Knight of Wands. There may be two, there may be two people here. You may have, um, 
So Aries, you may have somebody that you are already attached to. And if that's the case, that person may be a karmic. Um, now that's for some of you, but not everybody. Um, but there's also a sense here, if that is your situation, that while you might be attached to somebody and things are not going well um, because of karmic issues, the person that you're connecting with here you may feel like they're kind of being a bit of a player. They're inconsistent. So that's, I can see different timelines there. And for some of you, that's the case. Um, for others, though, I feel like you're just absolutely not taking action. And the person you're connecting with feels that things are erratic. Like one day, you know, things are on. The next day, things are not. Um, they may be viewing you as a player. Or they may, you may be viewing them as a player, but somebody here is not consistent. What is the outcome? Now this is a weekly outcome, so, all right, so we have the hangman in reverse. So by the end of the week, somebody's gonna have a different perspective here. And it's going to be after a period of time. After a long period of time, somebody is going to have some insight into what is taking place here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Rods. So I do see that there are quite a bit of problems. Um, there's a little bit of stubborn energy that's present. And I, for some of you, there's outside interference as well. And that's all underlying energy that is affecting this situation. Wow, this this looks like this looks a little messy to be honest with you. Um, all right, let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Cups here in reverse? All right, we have the Nine of Swords reversed and the Three of Swords. Hmm. So you pulled your emotions back here. At one point you were worried about this, but now you're not. It's still painful. It's still a pain, emotionally painful experience, and that's why you've, you, you're the one who's pulled your emotions back. Um, I do feel like there, for some of you, like I said, there's a third party here. Um, but I also feel like you don't want to have to concern yourself with a third party for some reason there well not for some reason but there's a, a sense here of you not wanting to concern yourself with this connection and that's why there's a lack of action here um, yeah but it's emotionally painful for you regardless of the situation why is the three of cups here Yeah, so you could very well be avoiding this person. All right, four of rods and the two of rods. Mm, yeah, there. for a lot of you, there is a third party here. You have somebody that you are connected with already. And for some of you, it, it's either a long-term connection or you're married. Um, now, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, so, you know, take it as it, if it's resonating, just put yourself where you belong, but there's a, a choice here between, you know, a marriage and going in a totally new direction, and somebody has to make that choice, and you're trying to decide what is going to make you happy, but at the same time, not wanting to deal with something that has been emotionally painful and that's why you have really kind of shut down. You've pulled back. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I do feel like that is the case for a lot of you. But for some of you, um, for some of you that are not, if there is no third party here, um, I do feel that somebody has offered marriage 
may have offered marriage. If not marriage, it may have been to move in together or to in level up the connection in some manner. And it would, it would cause you to maybe have to move or, um, you know, you're choosing still. If, even if that's the case, you're still choosing. So, I feel like you're avoiding having to make this choice because of something that has happened that's emotionally painful. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the reverse? Knight of Swords reversed. And again, so you're mirroring this person a little bit, Aries. Um... They have the Seven of Cups in the reverse as well. Yeah, you're not speaking your truth here. Queen of Wands in the reverse um, is clarified by the Knight of Swords in the reverse as well as the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, although you're no longer confused, you may have been, I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. You're not taking action and you're you're keeping things to yourself. You're not speaking your truth here. But you are you're not confused any longer. And I feel like you um you've narrowed your options down. So if there if you do have a choice here, I'm surprised I'm not seeing the lovers. If you do have a choice, I feel like you you're pretty clear what it is that you want to do. But you're not taking action on it and you're not you're not talking about it right now. And for a lot of you that is the case. There is somebody that you are currently involved with and then there's somebody new. But I see that you are not wanting to you're there's a almost a feeling of not wanting to deal with it, so there's a, a strong avoidance here. Um, let's look at their energy. Why is the magician here in reverse? Page of Swords and the Judgment. Hmm. This may be somebody that you knew from, from a previous, um, relationship, um, I do feel like this person may have reached out to you. This person may have verbalized to you that they want to bring this connection with you back together. Um, for some of you, this person looked you up. This was from a connection that likely did not manifest before, but you know this person. And so, I, I do want you to be careful though, Aries, because there is an element that this person that you're dealing with may have some manipulative qualities, um, especially verbally that, that, you know, they may be a little bit manipulative. They might be a little bit of a player. They may be, um, and this isn't for everybody, but for some of you, you, and you'll recognize it, they might be a bit of a smooth talker and a little bit of a player. Let's see why is the nine of rods here. Yeah, this is somebody I feel like they looked you up. They kept an eye on you. They looked you up. You may be um, in another connection at this point, And now they want to bring the two of you back together. Nine of rods reversed. And the four of coins. Yeah, this is somebody that they may have appeared to have given up on the connection previously, but they didn't. They were still holding on. They may have also had some financial problems in the past, um, but this person, although they appeared to have given up, they were still holding on to you. They did not give up on this connection. And, you know, if they had financial problems in the past, Aries, I feel like they... Um, they needed to handle some of that stuff. They have overcome some of these problems, and now, now here they come. Let's look at the bottom energy. All right, 
right, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Emperor. And we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person feels like they weren't chosen in the past. This person... So, this is somebody who, in the past, they feel as if um, they didn't get chosen. And they feel wronged by this. So, they're taking charge of this. They're stepping into their power. This might be somebody who's older than you. Um, they are definitely focused on you regardless. Um, because the Emperor is the card of Aries. So, they're really focused on you. And this is telling me that, that they feel that you you did them wrong. By not choosing them, they feel that you've done them wrong. Um, Ace of Cups in the reverse is that ending. And so they've been very burdened. They, they had a lot of things that they had to resolve. They were confused in this connection before. They were confused about you. They were confused about the connection. And I feel like you, you had had enough and you kind of put an end to it. You took charge. You put an end to it. Um, yeah, for some there was outside interference that occurred that ended this connection. But this is a connection that ended. And this person feels wronged or that it was wrong that the connection ended, if not personally wronged. They appeared to have given up on the connection, but they really didn't. They were still holding on to it. Some of them resolved some financial issues. They looked you up. Some of you, some of them looked you up on social media, perhaps. And I feel like, you know, they, they then came back into your life. Um, let's see, why is the Seven of Swords here? This is for the connection. Five of Cups reversed, and the Eight of Coins reversed. Yeah, I, I feel like this person just, they were a little sneaky about how they came back too. But Aries, you were happy to hear from them because, you know, it ended a, a period of sadness. I think that you were sad. You were upset. You were very... Um, upset when this this thing ended and I think that a part of you was very happy to hear from them um, there is some deceit if there if you are already in another connection or you're married because I feel like this was done quietly this person looked you up um, but I also feel like I also feel like you were happy to hear from this person. And you may you may not have related that. You may not have been upfront about that. But this is a connection that previously didn't work out. Um, let's see why. Let's, let's look at what's affecting the connection. You may be having problems. If you're in another connection, you're having problems with that person. And so this person is really appealing to you because of that. All right, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Five of Coins. I'm, I'm sorry, Five of Rods reverse. And the King of Wands in the upright. Okay, so... Like I said, not everybody is going through a a third party, but for some, you are. You're already involved with someone else. If you are involved with someone else, like I said, this person has come back in. And there is, that's an element of deceit. Um, but you're glad to hear from them. I feel like you moved on with your life, and this person acted like they didn't care but they did and they had to go and and resolve some problems and then they they came back but they were keeping up with you the whole time um, if there was no if there is no third party in this situation because like I said I can see two timelines here 
Um, this is somebody from your past, um, and this person, I do feel like this person um, may have offered you a higher level of commitment, perhaps in the past. You may have chosen to go your own way. There may have been deception in that, in the past, and that may have been why you chose to go your way. But I see this, I see a repairing of ways regardless which timeline you're on. Because this person, when you went your way, this person feels betrayed. That's going to end. That is going to end, and this conflict is going to end because the person that you are, are, are dealing with here they see themselves as being your perfect mate as being your partner that so if you are involved with someone else they're they're wanting to they're going to communicate to you that 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 should have never happened that the two of you were always meant to be and even if you're not involved with someone else at this point they're they're going to come in and they're going to communicate that they're going to tell you how disappointed they were that things did not work out. They may talk to you about feeling that you avoided them. Yeah, this person, they feel that they are your perfect mate. And I see this conflict ending. I see you, I see you not really having to do much. <laughs> the other person is going to do the work, Aries. Um, to end this conflict and I, I really do feel like you're going to be taken aback. I don't think you're going to see this coming. Let's see in the outcome. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Strength card in reverse. So the outcome of this is that there's going to be a whole new perspective on this after a very long time. So this, this is not somebody from the recent past either. This is somebody that, you know, there's a lot of history between the two of you. There's going to be communication. There's going to be an offer of some sort made. but And the person you're connecting with here, Aries, they're afraid to do this. There's, there's fear in their heart about this um, because they do feel that, you know, that ending hurt them. They, they do feel a sense of having been betrayed and a sense of, you know, being done wrong. But they're going to recover from that. I see a new beginning here. And it's going to start small, but it's going to grow. It's going to become a, a brand new beginning. So, you know, the, the new beginning may not be this week, for most of you anyway, but that that beginning is going to be, that, that small little beginning, that small start is going gonna, is gonna to happen this week for most of you. And it's going to change your perspective on everything here. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse, um, indicating, again, that you kind of have pulled your emotions back with regard to this person. I do think you'll be happy to see this person and happy to hear from them. So, um, yeah, I, I, I feel like you haven't talked to this person in quite a while, and you don't even see them as an option anymore, but they certainly have not forgotten you. Alright, um, I'm going to pull from the Angel Answers Oracles. I, I had a lot of people request I bring those back. So if you'll get a question in mind, a direct question, I'll see if I can give you an answer here from, from Spirit. So Spirit, I am pulling for Aries. Okay, you got two. So let's see. Okay, wow. Wow. All right, so the answer to your question is um, a two-part answer. It says success. So there will be success on whatever the question is that you have asked. And in addition to that, same question, I, it was indicated to me, perfect timing. So it's perfect timing here. 
So it will be successful and it is in perfect timing. Yeah, nice reading. Nice reading, Aries. All right, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, definitely drop me a comment. I'd love to hear what this is about. Um, and I do read all of your comments. If you would, like and share the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I do hope you'll do so. I would really appreciate it. All right, so until I see you next week, namaste.